So what's the big argument when it comes to cow's milk and is plant-based milk maybe a better option? I'm Dr. Joel Feeman and I'm here with Sabrina and today we're gonna to be talking with you about cow's milk dairy products and uh, other types of milks that they can possibly not only use but enjoy using. Here's the thing, there's no doubt that dairy products and drinking milk is a staple in most homes in America today, whether it's having a glass during dinner, putting in a protein shake, or maybe just cooking with it. Um, but is that the best option? Is that the most healthy things that a person can do? So we're gonna give you a few reasons as to why cow's milk probably isn't the best option. So first off, cow's milk undergoes homogenization and pasteurization, okay? The pasteurization process makes our milk acidic, which we'll talk about later is not ideal for the body. In addition, the feed given to the cows is gonna have pesticides and hormones that we don't want. And that transfers over into our milk, the milk that you're giving your kids and your family. To make matters even worse, 89% it's estimated of American dairy herds are infected with what's called a bonine leukemia virus. Now this can be killed off during a pasteurization process or it's supposed to be, but some research suggests that the process of pasteurization doesn't necessarily kill it all off, but can sometimes break it apart or fragment it and leave some of this uh, virus in the, in the process. Not to mention that there's human error. And so if that process, which is a very sensitive process, is not done perfectly, we could be possibly giving you know, our families you know, some of this bovine leukemia virus. Now, here's one thing that I wanna share with you. For myself, I've never really, over the last several years, been a big dairy fan. But I started for a process of time to where we started having some uh, of our patients would bring in, you know, uh, basically raw milk. Uh, and so we would have raw milk, unpasteurized, you know, straight from the cow. We were having cheese that was made that direction just for us. But then uh, a couple months down the road, my youngest daughter at the time uh, was diagnosed with the most aggressive form of childhood leukemia. And so in searching for the underlying cause in that, I made several different attempts through natural healthcare providers around the world trying to figure out what can I do to help my baby girl. And so one of the things that a natural healer had asked me, the very first question in fact, was has your daughter began drinking unpasteurized whole milk within the last three months? And I thought that was strange, but what was more strange to me was not that he asked the question, but the fact that he was right. Within the three months is that period of time that we had just started to be able to drink that whole milk right from the cow. Mm -hmm. And so he had sent me a bunch of research and it blew my mind when I became aware of that. And so ever since that time, whether it was a factor or a contributing factor of some sort or not, it was one of those decisions that for myself, now we just kind of become not only more aware of that, but we try to avoid that as well. Well, you know, thank you for sharing that story with us. You know, we really appreciate that. but. Let's go into talking about what this does in our body. So going back to how that pasteurization process makes the milk acidic, our bodies don't want that. And our bodies are actually wonderfully made in the fact that they can maintain a very, very strict pH. So if we eat anything acidic, what's gonna happen? Our bodies need to offset that by giving it an alkaline substance. So therefore our bodies take minerals from our bones just to make our body alkaline um, and bring it back to that strict pH. So bones, anytime they have an alkaline source taken away from them, you're going to be more likely than to develop you know, a problem such as osteoporosis because they become frail and fragile and, and weaker overall. So maybe that explains why Western countries, which are the leaders in dairy consumption, have the greatest amount of cases of osteoporosis and stress fractures. Another factor to consider is that of Anytime you're dealing with dairy products, you're going to have an increase in pesticides and you know, hormones. Um, and what that does is that's going to ultimately create hormonal imbalances, the likelihood of metabolic disorders, or even weight gain, among other issues. So instead of cow's milk, what else can people do? Like you said, it's a staple, they want their milk. So a great alternative are plant-based milks, mm -hmm. right? There's coconut milk, almond milk, they're tasty. You can use them for cooking. Just figure out which one best for your palate. So how this helps is, well, there's many different factors, but one of the main things, when you go to a plant-based source, um, you're not gonna have to deal with the, the abnormal or ab, uh, unnatural processes 
of all the things that it takes to get the byproduct that you're looking for. So you're gonna have less hormones involved, less pesticides, less herbicides, and overall it becomes a better, more healthier alternative. So plant-based milks are made by taking a bean or a nut, grinding them down, and then adding water, vitamins and minerals, and natural flavors. So one doesn't have to worry about their milk becoming too acidic, throwing off our pH. They don't have to worry about the bovine virus. So plant-based milks are also going to be better just because there's also less calories. And for people who are trying to better their health or lose weight, it's not so much just the calories, but that's one thing that a lot of people are paying attention to. And so it does help with that factor as well. And those calories are also better calories too. The fats in those plant-based milks are going to be unsaturated, which is ultimately better than that saturated fat that you're going to find in cow's milk. So where can you find these plant-based milks? Really, you can find them at any grocery store. You can find them in Walmart, Kroger, Fresh Time, whatever the case may be. All you have to do is go to the cow's milk section and they're right there. And if not, just go to the health food section and they'll be there. If you haven't already done so, definitely share this with your friends and family. Like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And that way you won't miss a single thing to be able to help you and your family to not just get healthy, but stay healthy the way you're created in God's image to be. Until next time, be blessed.